Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss chapter 9 reproduction in animals. This is lecture 4 of this chapter. In the end we will be discussing homework solutions of lecture 3. This is for class 8 subject science. So let's start with the lecture. Topics to be discussed today Development of the embryo Formation of eggshell in hens Viviparous and oviparous animals Metamorphosis And asexual reproduction Development of the embryo Development of embryo takes place in the female reproductive system through the following steps. First step, every month a single egg comes out of the ovary and reaches the fallopian tube of female reproductive system. So every month there is a single egg coming from each of the ovary, okay, like from I told you before that if the right ovary give egg this month, then the other month the left ovary will give the egg and it reaches through the fallopian tube of female reproductive system. Fallopian tube is also known as oviducts. During copulation, sperms reach the fallopian tube where a sperm fertilizes the egg. Sperm reaches the fallopian tube because sperm has a tail and they are motile. This results in formation of zygote and that's why this results in formation of zygote and zygote is single cell. It is made by fusion of ovum and sperm. As you can see, like here the zygote has been formed, then the cell stages has been done. Two cells, four cells, eight cells, multiplication of cells. Then finally this is coming to embryo, becoming the embryo, it is coming towards the uterus and here it is getting embedded. Embedded means it is going to stick on the walls of the uterus. This process is known as implantation. Okay. The zygote divides rapidly to give rise to a ball of cells. The cells then begin to form groups that develop into different tissues and organs of the body. As cell make tissue, tissue make organ, organ make organ system, an organ system will make an organism. This developing structure is termed as embryo. Now this is ball of cells, as you can see. The embryo gets implanted in the wall of the uterus for further gradually develop the body parts such as hands, legs, head, eyes, ears, etc. So the embryo gets implanted means it gets stick to the wall of the uterus. Okay and further it divides into body parts such as hands, legs, head, eyes, ears, etc. The stage of the embryo in which all the body parts can be identified is called a fetus. When the development of the fetus is complete, the mother gives birth to the baby. Okay, so the stage of the embryo in which all the body part divide is identified and called fetus. When the development of fetus is completed, the mother gives birth to the baby. This is fetus in the uterus and this is uterus. Formation of eggshell in hens. Internal fertilization takes place in hens. After fertilization, the zygote divides continuously and moves to the oviduct. As it travels down, many productive layers are formed around it. 
the hard shell in a in a hen's egg is one of such protective layer after the hard shell is formed the hen finally lays the egg the embryo takes about 3 weeks to develop into a chick the hen sits on the egg to provide sufficient warmth after the chick is completely developed it bursts upon open the egg cell shell so after the chick is formed it completely form it develop it and burst open the egg shell so the egg shell get open up baby parrots and oviparous animals the animals which give birth to young ones are called baby parrots animals example human being dog and cows so they all are baby parrots because they give birth to young ones those animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animals for example hen frog etc so egg laying animals are known as oviparous animals and you already know the example that is hen frog fish etc so young ones to adults direct development when the young ones of an animal resemble the adult then direct development take place example hen men monkey etc so you can see the life cycle of hen this is an egg 3 weeks it becomes a chick and about 3 months it becomes an adult so this is the life cycle of hen indirect development when the young ones of an animal do not resemble the adult then indirect development takes place example frog butterfly silk moth etc so you can see the life cycle of a frog these are eggs then there is early tadpole then there is late tadpole then this is an adult frog okay metamorphosis in case of indirect development transformation of young ones into adults through drastic changes is called metamorphosis so in the case of indirect development the transformation of a young one and into adult through drastic changes will be known as metamorphosis larva of butterfly undergoes metamorphosis to become a butterfly a tadpole undergoes metamorphosis to become a frog adult frog and even the butterfly life cycle you can see that these are eggs then there is caterpillar then there is this stage a uh, crystallises and then there is a adult butterfly so they are everything is so much different than a butterfly this is metamorphosis because these are drastic changes asexual reproduction methods it is the process of reproduction in which new individuals are produced from single parent so this is a type of process of reproduction in which new individuals are produced from single parent example microorganisms first budding This reproduction method is seen in those multicellular animals which are highly simple in structure. A small bud or a bulge develops on the body. After developing the bud, it gets detached from the parent's body to begin life as a new individual. Since new individuals develop from the buds, this type of asexual reproduction is called budding. examples hydra and sponges okay so the bird gets uh, detached from the parent's body so this type of reproduction is known as budding example hydra and sponges as you can see this is an hydra it is forming a bird and this bird is again will detach from the parent and will form a new individual similarly here also this is hydra and this is a bird binary fission 
This method of reproduction is seen in unicellular animals. Unicellular means single cell animals. Example amoeba. In this method, an organism divides and forms two daughter cells. First, the nuclear divides and forms two daughter nuclei. Then the cytoplasm in the mother cell divides into two daughter cells. This leads to the formation of two daughter cells, each having a nucleus of its own cell. Organelles, which then develop into a fully formed adult. For example, paramecium, leishmania, etc. So you can see the binary fusion in amoeba. This is parent cell, then the nucleus is dividing. Cytoplasm divides, two daughter cells are formed with one nucleus each. Cloning. Cloning is the process of production of an exact copy of a cell, any other living part or a complete organism. So first of all, what is cloning? Cloning is a process of production of an exact copy of a cell. And you can produce any living part also or you can complete you can produce a complete organism also cloning process of an animal was successfully performed for the first time by Ian Wilmot and his colleagues at the Roslyn Institute of Edinburgh Scotland the clone successfully a, uh, a sheep named Dolly so Dolly was the first clone mammal So this is Finn Dorset sheep, this is Scottish Backfeeds Eve and this is Dolly. Okay, so we will, we will study about them now. During the process of cloning, sheep named Dolly, a cell was collected from the memory gland of a female Finn Dorset sheep, the first one. Okay, simultaneously an egg was collected from a Scottish Blackface Eve, the second one with Blackface. Okay. The nucleus was removed from the egg. Okay. After that, the nucleus of memory gland cell from the Finn Dorset sheep was inserted into the egg of the Scottish Blackface Eve, whose nucleus has been removed. Okay. Then this egg was implanted into Scottish Blackface Eve. So they have implanted the complete cell to the Scottish Blackface Eve. Means the Scottish Blackface Eve will carry Dolly for the gestation period, for the pregnancy period. Development of this egg followed normally and then finally Dolly was born. It was found to be absolutely identical to Finn Dorset sheep from which the nucleus was taken. So it was identical to Finn Dorset sheep. And it was in the warm of Blackface Eve. Okay. So it was identical of Finn Dorset sheep because from Finn Dorset sheep the nucleus was taken. Homework is solve NCRT exercise questions. Question 3, question 4, question 6, question 7, question 8 and question 9. Question number 3. Choose the most choose the most appropriate answer. A. Internal fertilization occurs first in female body, second in out, outside female body, in male body, outside male body. Now B part of the question. A tadpole develops into an adult frog by the process of fertilization, metamorphosis, embedding, budding. You need to choose a correct option. C part. The number of nuclei present in a zygote is none, one, two or four. Next question, question number four. Indicate whether the following statements are true or false. Oviparous animals give birth to the young ones. Each sperm is a single cell. 
external fertilization take place in frog a new human individual develops from a cell called gamete egg laid after fertilization is made up of a single cell amoeba reproduces by budding fertilization is necessary even in asexual reproduction binary fission is a method of asexual reproduction a zygote is formed as a result of fertilization and the last is an embryo is made up of a single cell so these questions you need to do in your book now next question define asexual reproduction describe two methods of asexual reproduction in animals this you need to do in your notebook in which female reproductive organ does the embryo get embedded this also you need to do in your notebook what is metamorphosis give examples and question number 9 is differentiate between internal fertilization and external fertilization so these two questions also you will do in your fair notebook homework solutions of lecture 3 Describe the process of fertilization in human beings. Fertilization is defined as the process in which there is a fusion of male gamete and female gamete. For humans you can say sperm and ovum. The male gamete or sperms are released from the male reproductive organ called the penis. the sperm release to enter the female body through the vagina from the vagina sperm travel through the fallopian tubes where they meet the eggs that is ovum from there on the process of fertilization take place in the fallopian tube okay from here the process of fertilization take place in the fallopian tube also known as oviducts The male gamete called sperm and the female gamete called the egg fuse together to form a zygote. The zygote divides rapidly to form a group of cells called morula which becomes the embryo after approximately 5 days. So zygote first form morula and after 5 days it becomes the embryo. The fetus is present for about 8 weeks after the fertilization. Okay? After the fertilization fetus will come after 8 weeks. Give two differences between a zygote and a fetus. Zygote. It is the earliest stage of development. It is formed by the fusion of male and female gametes. So what is zygote? Zygote is the earliest stage of development and it is formed by the fusion of male and female gametes. It is a single cell. The zygote divides several times to form an embryo. The zygote normally lasts a week and then the develop into its next stage. Okay so it's a single cell. Zygote divides several times to form an embryo. and zygote lasts for a week when it developed into its next stage now fetus it is the last developmental stage of an organism the stage of the embryo that shows all the main recognizable body parts of a mature organism so now all the body parts will be identified that particular time we will call it a fetus The fetus stage occurs after the embryo stage. Fetus mainly undergoes internal development. So the fetus stage occur after the embryo stage and fetus mainly undergoes internal development. Please 
please like subscribe and share our channel that's all for today thank you